Wait, is he here? Is he jumping in? Can you say the question? Can jump in? If it's spacer. Jump in the space. Fish you. Can you say the question? Oh, sorry. Yeah, but you're a big man still. Like. You're fart. You have to start my right, The question is, so the question is, um, if you can hear me in the background, should people who have no fitness qualification be trained using the um, any fitness knowledge of any kind to use it in dance? So in a dance studio for their dancers so or in general. or stretching. Yeah, they have done no sort of qualification. Mm -hmm. They've done no, like, they have no knowledge of it other than YouTube. Should they be really then teaching something that has um, a quite split opinion on certain ways of regimes of doing certain workouts and so on. Should you be right, allowed to do that when you have no qualification? Personally, mm. personally, I think it can, it can split both ways. Right. In doing fitness with someone, you have to know the, the basic ins and outs. You have to know the, the health and safety. You have to know all the health and safety like rules. You have to know about an appropriate warm up, like the, the four different stages of a warm up, yeah. how to cool down, and things like that. But you can learn that without doing, without having a qualification. <laughs> you can learn that without having a qualification. So, in my opinion, I feel like personally, if you know exactly the ins and outs on how to handle a fitness. Um, regime mm. without having anyone injured then personally you're blessed but if you're going to injure me and you're not going to stretch me out properly and you're going to tell me to kick my leg to my head without having warmed up then that's way too big yeah anyway fitness fitness is very very key very important oh you can have the smaller piece i think i think Everyone, regardless, like if you if you're running a crew or you're in a crew, everyone should have a basic like sort of foundation and understanding of fitness in general. But does that mean you know, a qualification? It wouldn't necessarily mean a qualification. Like you should know that you want obviously you have to stretch before you start doing working out. You pull muscles. That's how you get injuries, etc. And how to cool down as well. Like that's just basically common sense. I don't think you'd need a qualification for that. But if you're gonna take time out of a rehearsal to like have everyone go for like an hour's fitness then I think you definitely need to be qualified. Like, yeah, so you can't just be doing, oh, we're going to do this many sit-ups, we're going to do all these push-ups, because, yeah, they're all well and good. But if you're really trying to push your physical limits as a crew, as a whole, you should be trained on what exactly they need to be doing in and outside of rehearsals, well, including dieting. I don't think you need to, to have a quick Why am I struggling to say that word? Because you're I really spastic, you've got a D in English. I really so, don't... I got a B. I really don't think you need to have a qualification for that. Uh, no, but I think everyone should know how to do, like, set up some press ups you yeah. don't have to do it properly like for the other, the other day when we were doing we were doing fitness in rehearsal everything for a minute yeah mm. everyone next to me is getting like 40 mm. but omar's watching me and in one minute i only did 13 mm -hmm. sit-ups mm -hmm. but i thought i knew how to do a pretty good sit <clears throat> but no i only got 13 in one minute so i feel like you actually need to know how it's how you're meant to like it's especially meant to when be it done. comes to push up. I see people doing some jazz with push ups, like put your knees on the floor and they squat like this far. I think you like, can you're not gonna do nothing. In a in a session, you can feature your fitness in a session, mm. like a little bit here and there. But if you're gonna do an actual like, <laughs> if you're gonna do an do actual like hour session on fitness, mm. just bring in someone that's qualified in yeah. teaching fitness. Definitely. I agree with that one. You're like when I was there. Right. Cool. I studied sports science at school, right? Not saying I'm a... Like, personally, my fitness ain't that great. But I... I feel like I definitely can run a fitness session based on, like... <laughs> oh, no! <I'm, laughs> I feel like I can run a fitness session based on a person's... Based on what a person wants to achieve out of their fitness. But I don't have the qualification for that. But I feel like I genuinely know ha and have the knowledge on how to... I want it. Oh. Thanks. Fitness. Thanks, mate. On how to help improve... Let's say... <laughs> let's say they wanted to improve their cardiovascular fitness. Mm. I know exactly what sessions to run, what to do in terms of, like, um, how to help improve it. But I don't have a qualification right now. But personally, I feel like I can do a whole hour session. I can do a whole hour and a half yeah, session. But you're yeah, but you're, you're, you're in the middle of getting a qualification. Yeah, but I don't have the qualification. But that's what I'm saying. If someone wants to learn about it, mm. then they can go online. They can buy the relevant books. They can do the right things in terms of, like, 
in terms of um, understanding it, but they don't have to get a qualification. I feel like I'm ready to do that now. I, see I don't have a qualification. Do you know what I'm saying? If someone wants to learn something and if someone wants to understand something to a deeper um, place, then they don't really need to have the qualification, in my opinion. Well, for well, fitness. someone wants to die in your presence. But that's what we were saying at the beginning. They need to, <laughs> then under- they need to understand. Yeah. Lawsuits. That's what the qualification might help you. Get Not really, because you could have insurance as a. Um, as you a could still have teacher. a qualification and get like sued and stuff. Yeah, true. Very true. But I don't know. So it's a catch twenty two, because if something goes wrong, then you could be liable in a sense. Yeah, like yeah, if you, you have a qualification and something shouldn't go wrong. So that's probably why the argument said that you need a qualification to avoid something going wrong. Because if you don't have the qualification, but you think in your mind that you're being able to give someone the correct, proper way to do fitness, and then they end up getting injured it's or hurt in your presence, in your then mind. you shouldn't have it. It's about actually knowing. The qualification's there, so that if you run a session and something happens, someone can't go to you, but you're not, you don't, you're not qualified because you don't have qualification. Exactly. That's why the qualification's there. It's true, it's there for liability, but if you know what you're doing... And you know exactly, like, like I said, you know about health and safety, and you know what to do and what not to do, and and how how hard to push someone and how hard not to push someone based on their current abilities. Then I think it's fine. Well, that's my opinion. People can disagree with me. I know a lot of people would disagree with that, yeah, but but it's just about how much you want to learn about it. I swear you have to pay bare money for a PT qualification mm. as well. It's bit be- people be broke out here. Yeah, some Group people on. can't. Groupon. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just get a degree on gr- Groupon, man. Okay. Dieting is also very, very important. And you learn about that. Dieting is very important. It is. Nutrition. Mm. But we're talking about a fitness session. A session. It still plays into it. Dieting's just as important. Obviously, I can't talk right now, but dieting is just <laughs> as important as fitness. If you want to go, if you want to aspire to be like the crews, like such as you peeps or something, their men are tough. Like they definitely, you can see it in their sets. They do fitness. All, there isn't one person there that slacks. Like they all are able to go through a whole set easy. Not easy, but you know what I mean. No. So like they're all they're all able to. Say, say we had a set like you peeps. Hmm? I understand you. Ah. Basically, with the amount of fitness that you do and the hard work that you put in, you need to be eating right to be able to exert that amount of energy to be able exactly. to kind of keep up with that fitness. But as a as someone that's training someone, you need to be able to tell them this ain't going to be good for you, but eating this will give you the energy. There's his point further. Mm. So, yeah. Thank you for doing that for me. You're welcome, babes. I just think if you want to be sorry. if you want to be doing teaching fitness, then you might as well get the qualification. Because imagine you want to take a fitness class, yeah. Mm. You have the person who's a qualified fitness person, like with like all the qualifications, yeah? The person who learnt about it but isn't qualified, or the person that read the books and watched YouTube. No, but who are you going to go for? No, but it's, not, but it's not even like that. In my sense, I'm thinking of it as, okay, I'm, I'm a choreographer, I have my own crew, we're going to Weld, their fitness needs to be A1, right? For my crew, I'm going to do what I know and I'm going to train them personally to get to the point as a crew. But really and truly, like, I'm not talking about, yeah, I'm going to open my own fitness class. I want everyone to come to my fitness class because I read all the books. No, no, no. If you want to start your own personal training, um, if you want to, like, start training people personally, making money out of it, then, yeah, cool. Get your qualification. You're making money now. But mm-hmm. there's a difference between training your own crew and getting them fit and healthy to, like, making money out of saying, yeah, I read some books and I, I can teach you how to be fit. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. I get that. But yeah, that's my opinion. But it depends on the person. This is the whole point of the qualification, because the qualifica- qualification... Because <laughs> then the people know that you've actually took the necessary steps and you know everything. Because I feel like even if you had if you had your crew and you're going to do fitness, I feel like you'd still do more research into it. Mm. Just yeah. in case to make sure. But some people reason. wouldn't do that. Yeah, but that's where that's where that's where I disagree and that's where the line should be drawn. That's where you're not supposed to say, Yeah, I'm gonna take first of all, if you have a crew, that nine times out of ten, they're probably gonna be young either young people or young adults, right? Mm. Really and truly you do not wanna put them at risk. You really don't. So their health and safety, their safety should come first. So really and truly, if you want to be doing if you wanna be doing fitness with them, even though you don't have a qualification Make sure you're on your shift. 
make sure you're you're searching everything because really and truly if they get injured then that's on you so basically we've come to the conclusion that you don't need a qualification if you're going to take the necessary steps to in yourself personally to be qualified to do it Here's you don't need question. the qualification yeah. do you think it's okay to go online and search a workout and then give it to your class no depends where the workout comes from if it's, a, if you it's know, an actual legitimate workout website. online... It right? depends what the what the workout's for. Like, Is this like one of them insanity sort of workouts? No, 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 because that no, won't cater for like, young kids. Obviously, they've searched that it's, it's um, catered to the fact of their ability. That didn't make sense. Then, no, no, I get you. But yeah, no, I think that's fine. Yeah. Because it's, if, if that's actually made, then it's probably made by a professional who's gone now and got their qualifications. So you're not really doing anything wrong by taking their knowledge and passing it on to the kids who actually need it. So you don't need to be but as long as but as long as you understand what they well. need to what they need to improve on and what exercises will help improve that once they've done the relevant warm ups and the relevant cool downs at the end, then it's best. So that's kind of a that's how we wrapped up. So you, you don't need to be qualified in case you're making that money. <laughs> then you need the the qualification. <laughs> but if not, make sure you're taking the necessary steps to understand because you that, don't want to be putting people what you're teaching. Agreed. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Come watch us next time. Subscribe, <laughs> comment below, you know. My Insta's Jack Webster with two B's and two R's because no my cares. username for two B's was taken. Yeah, so make sure you put a comment extra. if you want Omar to feature in the next one. Um, it's done now. My Twitter's also Jack Webster no with two cares. R's at the end because the one was taken. As well. <laughs>